Hey everybody, this is my third video, still on suspension, and uh, where the hell did my door go? There it is, there's my door. Um, I got sick and tired of people asking me, especially one guy, how the hell are you going to make a door frame for this? How, how are you going to do that? Well, it's easy for crying out loud. All you got to do is I screwed this to the bottom of the door just to hold the plywood straight. And I drilled the holes through because this doesn't matter. So now I'm, I'm outlining the door from the back side. I'm outlining the door and then I'll cut it out. I cut the center out so it looked like a, I don't know what the hell you call them freaking things. Ski board, snowboard, I don't know, a boat. So this will be cut out hollow and in the middle. And then I just have to copy it again on one more piece of plywood. And then I just fill the gap in. So I measure this out. So maybe a two by four on its side or something, or maybe a little bit bigger. So this will be my door jam. And I'm making it wider than the door because what's gonna happen is let me get my cartoon paperwork out because visualizing it and me rattling on like a crazy freaking monkey are two different things. All right, look at that. We're back in school. We got paper. All right. So I have to come over here like this and come over here. And this will be my 2 by 4 wall, right? So we all know that. So then we got the toilet. We got the sink. We got the... Well, here's going to be the, the wall. But this is coming way over to 12 foot. So this is all open area. And then, you know, the shower, which my dimensions are off here. So, so basically, all I got to do is turn my freaking light on because I'm casting shadows on this shit. So the thickness of this is going to be the thickness of that. So when I get the door mounted in the frame, it's going to be like this. Then the door. All right, so here's the door. And then here's the other piece of the frame. So this will be all screwed together. So I'm going to make a sandwich out of this. So then I just take these pieces over and I just slide them in here so this will be slid in here and this will be slid in here like that so the the door frames will be like in here right so already built door frames so i don't have to put the two by fours in now i can just you know set the base on the floor right and then take my two by fours and put them in and that's it so now my arch doorway is done so that's, that's how I'm doing this. Because people are like, how can you put an arch door in a in a square hole? I'm like, really? I said, do you think I'm that stupid? I said, I'm going to trace the freaking door on plywood. That's why I got extra sheets. So I'm going to build my frame. And then, uh, yeah, so this will be cut open. And I'll just build my frame. And that's it. There's, there's really, there's nothing to it. And then when it comes to the curve... You just cut little short two by four blocks and you just block it around. You just block it around. And then uh, I'm going to cut this probably half an inch bigger. And uh, to add for like door stoppers and shit like that. And and I'm going to use some of that bender board and just bend it right around. Matter of fact, I could probably use this. I can actually probably use a scrap of this side off the other one or something. I don't know. Because this bends pretty easy. And if I make, if this is a strip here, and I make a bunch of light scores in this all the way down, I can actually bend this plywood right around that arch. And you'll never know. So, that is how I'm doing this. I'm sure a lot of you didn't need my cartoon. My cartoon picture. 
you know, of Joe with the big nose and him with his big tongue sticking out going, Bleh. there, he's got a few strands of hair, he's got an ear, yeah, and he's got a goatee, there, almost looks like myself, looks like Joe Biden, so that's what I'm doing here, so this would be very simple, very simple to do, and I'll make sure that, you know, I'm going to have a stud right dead center here. So this will join into the next piece because this is what's going to be covering, you know, besides the outside of the building and closing it, it'll also be on the inside of the building and closing it around the bathroom. And um, one wall is going to be the one wall on this end, but the panel box end is going to look similar to this. It's all going to be the, the Amish um, 1x12s. So I'll need eight of them. So that'll be very interesting. I got more bearings came in. A couple more little pieces came in. I got my tensioner waiting for the motorcycle sprocket. And I'm going to loosen up the chain. See, this one here is adjustable so I can... Oh, hang on a minute. Well, I had to grab that phone call there. That was that guy that's got those big solar batteries. Yes, I'm still working on that. And uh, he's had a lot of stuff to do. Um, so he was keeping his solar panels. And I said, why are you keeping your solar panels? <clears throat> solar panels if you're getting rid of your batteries. I mean, so he's got some type of a different setup. He's got inverters on his solar panels. I, I know what he's got. I had him in the house. And the inverters will feed into a breaker in a sunny day and push power into the house. And then when the sun goes down, they shut off. And it's it's what I had. The ones that got really hot inside my house and I got rid of them. I had two 1,000 watt inverters. And um, so that's what he's got on each of his panels. So now I see why he wanted to keep his solar panels. So he thinks his panels were two or 250 watts a panel. But he said his setup out in the yard He's got four panels on there. It's all wobbly, and he's worried about the wind ripping it off. So so I said, hey, I said, because I just so I can get them batteries, I'm like, you know what I'll do? We'll set up a time. I'll grab my trailer. I'll come up. I'll grab the batteries. We'll take a walk around so I can see what you need done or you want help with. So next time I come up, I'll have the tools and what I need in my car. And, uh... Because I want to make sure I get those batteries. And he says, boy, that's a good idea. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. So I thought he was avoiding me, but he wasn't. He was just busy with his wife. So so that was a good phone call. So anyways, I'm going to get back to tracing this out. And then I'm going to, I'm going to cut it out. And I'm going to set the door back off to the side. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so now you can see that I moved this off. You can see my door line. And there it is. All I got to do is just take like an extra, a little bit off. And uh, maybe fix this a little bit here. Well, actually the door actually does that anyways. It does it right here. So, and there's my door opening right there. So I am going to move the door over here to get it out of my way. And I'll probably stain it. Light stain. Just, just a quick, fast light stain is all I'm going to do on this. Um, I'll take these off. But you can still see the sap. I don't know if you can see the shiny sap. The sap crystals or not. Maybe I can. Maybe the light will show up. Yeah, there you go. You can see the sap crystals on there. This one piece. So, it's still pretty sappy. Now it's all over my thumb. And I got tree sap on me. But, that's alright. So this is how you do a door frame. So now I've got this much on either side. 
So I'll make another one of these once I get this perfectly cut out the way I want with my jigsaw. Um, and then I'll come back. And uh, the problem is I can't just use my, you know, my circular saw and just rip it right out because I need this as my copy. This in here doesn't matter. So that's how easy it is. All right, I gotta get cut. Well, that was fun. Jesus. You know, besides the fact that I had the heat blown in my eye. So I gave myself that much difference. Uh, about a quarter of an inch on both sides. And I'm going to cut on the outside line of the furthest line. And I freehanded this arch, so it may not be perfect, but it's not really going to matter because if something's off, I can sand it, so I'm not worried about it, but... This is pretty close, a quarter of an inch. I kind of told you I was going to fix this spot here, which I kept going straight and not dip in. So, I mean, is it perfect? No. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. Because um, it's going to have quarter round on it. My eye is burning now, thanks to this freaking heater in my face. I knew I should have aimed it the other way. So, got my big honking ass six foot level. Or level, yeah, six foot level. It's a level. Oh, it's only a level if you make a level. Oof. One eye burning. Boy, the heat tape is working awesome. Look at that down there. It's all nice and dry and nice and warm. And it had to be put on a GFCI. And you know what I forgot? It is on a GFCI because I had five of these, remember? These GFCI plugins that I bought for running my fans, I got five GFCIs. So any standard outlet, I can make it a GFCI without doing anything. It's just a plug-in. I'm sitting there going, what the hell are you thinking about, you freaking idiot? I pulled open my drawer, and I'm like, look at all the GFCIs I got. So these are nice. These are really nice. Let's see. The bottom's a test and the top's a reset. Just plugs in. Just like that. I think I'm using one somewhere right now. I don't know where it went, but had a bunch of them. But that saved me from doing wiring. So I don't have to waste any wire now. All right. So now I got to find a, or I got some wood back there just to raise this off the floor. And I'm just going to take my sweet-ass time cutting it out. You know, at my other job, what we used to do was we used to use a car lift. We used to set our big, heavier stuff up on the car lift and use that. You know, use, we used to raise it up, use it as a work table. Someday I'll be doing that. Um, I also want to get underneath my car, unhook the rear shocks, and drop the suspension out. And I want to cut the spring perches off. You know, the springs where it's the spring, then you got the, the perch that holds the spring. I want to cut that off, put a two-inch spacer block in it, and just weld it back in. That's probably what I'm going to do with that because that's the only way to do it, really, to get this ass end two more inches up in the air. But, yeah, when I gave Kyle a ride down to the store, man, every bump were bottoming out. So, right. Well, I got to get my antique saw out. Maybe I'll just use my circular saw just for the straight parts, and I'll stop at each corner to make it faster. And then I'll switch over to my, uh, God, I don't even know if this thing even works anymore. It's my, it's my grandfather's. I've had it for five and a half million freaking years. Look at this old baby. I even had to order parts for this a while back. This is old. I mean, this is wicked old. How old is Wicked Old? I don't know. Wow, look at that. Okay, women, calm down. It's not one of those. Yep. Looks like a video called Effing Machines. Look that up on the internet if you're bored. Into the R-rated part. You'll be like, oh, no. It's Effing Pistons. That's what it was.
Somebody said, look that up. I'm like, holy Christ. Yep. Yep, you'll basically see what I just showed you. So I'll use this to cut my straight line up to probably like right in here. I'll stop. And then I'll arch it with this one. But now I got to get this up off the ground. So, but I'm going to cut it right where we sit. That'll be fun. Well, so there you go. There's my door frame right there. And here's the surfboard. So I'm going to have one more like that. And uh, I'll just use this for cutting scraps out or whatever. But this is not my pattern. So I'll take this piece, center it up on another piece of plywood, and cut one more of these out. And then all you do is take, for an example, you just take a two by four, and you just, you know, you screw it in like that on both halves. And there's your door frame. I mean, it can't be any easier than that. So, I mean, you can actually bend a two by four around this corner. All you gotta do is just relief cut it on the back. You make a lot of cuts, but you could actually, you could actually bend a two by four around this, but that's cool. So now I can take this piece and this should be actually a little bit bigger than the door because that's what I cut it as. And I am. So I cut it a quarter of an inch bigger than the door. Yeah. yeah. So we're good. We're good. Perfect. Oh yeah, it's higher up here. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Well, it may not be absolutely perfect, but you know something? It's perfect enough. So... So that's how you make a round door frame. It's, it's wicked easy. I'll just go over here now. I'll just flop one of these down right here in the floor. Put my surfboard on here, center it up where I want it. Trace it out, cut it out, and that's it. Then I'll figure out my thickness here. So we'll get this out of the way. Look at I got these easy carry handles now. Bear with me. So, I cut that out of one of those. And I figured out my thickness here, which is two inches. I should already know that. And this is a two by four. Yeah, nope. So, yeah, I don't know. Well, this is the back side of the door. So the, the front side of the door actually be on, on hanging onto this, so, you know, like that, but out a little bit, give me some gappage. Yeah, shit, that'll be just fine. And nobody will really tell when I'm done how much work I put in all this. But, so, I gotta make one more of these now, but I don't have any wood to go in between them. So, I may have to run up to the Amish and get some, uh, some more lumber. I don't know what size is this. This is, uh, is this one by one by three? Some shit. Yeah, so every size is different with them. I don't know. I figure if I do three inch, no, I can't do three inch. I got to do four inch. All right, doesn't matter. Don't matter. But, because usually every door that I've seen, for example, they sit in like this. They're flush on the outside and they're in on the inside, so. Oh, it's snowing out. It's snowing outside. Oof. I keep telling the stump grinder I was like, get over here. I got your $400 to grind the stump. I said, come and get it before I spend it on something stupid. So he said he'll get a chance to stop over. So 
All right, you know, so maybe I'll use this as a pattern. I don't know. It'd be easier lining this up than this piece. Because that one is a full sheet, so I just line, laid a full sheet on a, four, a full sheet and we'll be done. Like this video for now. Okay, there we go. There is my second frame made. And here's my first frame made. And I put a letter in the corner of each one so they match up. So front and front, so they both face and they match identically because if I turn one this way one the other way well they might be off a tiny bit so I'm not taking any chances so I'm just going to stand this one up next to the other one and then I'm going to I want to make sure they don't warp so I want to make sure they're straight you know because there's not much wood here if it gets damp you know this wood might go bah. I don't want to do that so just like that <laughs> All right, so basically, this is the end of the video until I get some more wood. Um, and then I'll just be screwing these together. Basically, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to put some probably two by threes in here and just screw them in. And I could even just cut little pieces to come around inside a little bit. Who knows? I don't know. I'll figure it out. But basically, that's it. And I've got a little bit of stain left, and I'm just going to just glaze that door with it oh my god i got i got very little stain left it only feels like a half an inch in there i don't know if i'm gonna have enough to do this door but i was just breaking my neighbor's balls next door i'm like i've been over here in the garage for hours i said you didn't even stop over and say hi so all right I'm kind of happy I accomplished a little bit of something today, and and uh, Ezra and I had to run to CVS to the store and pick up some medicine for his wacky kid, and then uh, we had a good time. Uh, anytime Ezra and I go somewhere, we just have a good time, you know, and I told Ezra, I said, I'm your new son now. I said, I... A lot of stuff I should have did with my dad, and I kind of miss him, and I didn't do, you know. And I really wasn't there for him that much like I probably should have been. And I feel a little guilty about it now that I'm older and wiser. And I told Ezra, I said, you're my new dad now. And uh, I said, I'm going to make sure you're happy, you know, right up to the end until he expires. But I didn't put that part in, but that was that's what I was thinking. And uh, maybe it'll kind of help me make up for what I lost out with, with my dad. But, so, he goes, well, it, I, okay, he goes, if, if you're being an asshole, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I, I wouldn't expect any less from you, you know. But, yeah, there's a reason. There's a reason why... We got back together as friends. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was for me to help him through this hard time. I don't know. I think we kind of needed each other in a certain way. And it's just worked out good. I, I don't know. I don't understand it. But but I'm happy to shit with other. I love him like a dad. He's a good shit. So, you know, if I needed anything, the guy's 89. Whatever I needed, he'd be over here to help me. You know? It's just amazing. I just, I can't, I don't know. I just think a lot of them. So, anyways, before we get too mushy, this is the end of the video. I'm just going to blob some dye on here quick as I can. I'll take the straps off so I don't get them all shit. And then I'll put my strap on. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take these off and four screws each one. I was just, I'm just going to wipe it down quick. Hopefully I don't get a splinter. No, I sanded this. That's right. Yeah, I'll just wipe this down. Put a quick, you know... Quick wingy dingy on it, and that's it. All right, everybody. Well, this is my third video of being suspended a few more days ago. Um, like I always say, like, share, subscribe, and donate to the cause if you would like. It would be very much appreciated. Uh, I might go fund me because I just figured out I actually got time to sit down and write out my income, and my outgoing. 
And uh, it come to find out I'm negative $86 before I even buy gas and groceries. Yeah. So I am, uh, I'm going to thank God thank spring is coming. So I make a little bit of money on mowing lawns, but that should probably balance that out. Yep. Boy, I hate this shit. You know, having all kinds of money just to piss all over the place. And then to where I'm short. Um, oh, I had my taxes done by H&R Block. And he looks at the YouTube videos and says, oh, oh these are royalties. Uh, it looks like the royalties, so like you're subcontracting from YouTube. So it looks like, you know, you're your own company subcontracting sub from YouTube. I'm like, yeah. And he says, uh, you know, you're supposed to be paying in on this, you know, quarterly sending in some money towards it and i'm like yeah i know i figure i just crossed my fingers at the end of the month so he basically got my taxes done he said they're 290 dollars for my taxes i'm like okay let me just pull that out of my ass but i'm not spending my tree money that's that 400 bucks is paid for in that tree so i don't give a shit that's not gotten up going anywhere so anyways um he said yeah you know you could have you could have wrote all this stuff off I'm like, whoa, wait a, wait a minute. I said, I shoot my YouTube videos in my garage. I video in every inch of my freaking garage, as you know. I video it in there, and here, here, here. I'm videoing what I'm doing on the edition. I said, this is bullshit. I said, I'm going to write out everything that I bought, you know, in 2021, and you're going to redo my freaking taxes because... I was going to get $5 back from the federal and $18 from the state. I'm like, no way. I said, and now you're just telling me this? I said, bullshit. I wrote down what I paid for all of this shit. And then I wrote down, you know, what I paid for this, this, this. All the shit I bought. Almost. Almost all the shit I bought. And it came down to $8,400. Um, Right now, I included the car lift for eight hundred and fifty bucks, um, but I think I gave him a couple more hundred to, to deliver it and set it up. But that wasn't on the paper, so I paid eight fifty for this, eight nine ten fifty for this, delivered and set up. So I'm putting that in there because I think I showed an oil change, so the lift was being used in the video, and then the square footage of your garage and all this, this and that, and my cell phone and blah blah blah. Because that's what I'm recording on, my damn cell phone, which everybody knows that. So I sent the paper back in, you know, you can H&R Block. I called them up and I said, you have him redo my freaking taxes as a subcontractor, like he says, and you subtract this $8,000 that I spent in my garage for all my bathroom shit and everything else, and you're taking it off of this year's taxes. I said, that's bullshit. He tells me that after he did my taxes? I'm like, no way. I said, now your fat ass can redo my taxes. You know? So, I haven't heard back from him yet. He's probably pissed off, but I don't give a shit. You know, you do your freaking job. You should have told me that shit up front. You know, because this is the first time I've ever dealt with, you know, YouTube videos. Granted, I only made $1,100 for the year, which... Pfft, but it's 1100 better than nothing. It's, you know. So that's what I made on YouTube last year. Yeah, 1100 I know, it's just a freaking joke. Literally, it's a freaking joke. But, well, some of my videos may not appeal to people. You know, the more views you get, the more money you make. And I only got a couple thousand subscribers. And some people have millions of subscribers. But they do crazy shit. And they got fancy this and fancy that. And multiple people to video for them and all that. This is just one idiot in the garage with his phone making videos. That's it. You know what I mean? So, all right. Anyways, that's that. And that's the end of this video. Um, when I start making my sandwich here, my door sandwich, I'll pick it up from there again. All righty. Take care. Thanks a lot. Like I said, if you want to go fund me a few bucks, I'd be happy. You know, if every subscriber just donated one lousy dollar, 
that would be two grand. That would be enough for me to finish all my outside to make more videos and stuff out there. It would help out huge, you know, because at the moment, um, I'm going to be at a dead standstill because I am officially now out of cash for that room. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. So, um, well, actually, I got a guy coming tomorrow for this. I separated it for him. My, uh, my bender, I took it off the stand. I'm going to give him some free anchor bolts. So that's going for 175 But I'll probably need that for groceries or some shit. So I don't know. Okay, I should change my, I should actually change my name to one poor ass dude in his garage. All right. Have a good one.